Okay, so anyway, I'm pretty freaking stupid because I decided I was going to go search for the Beast of Bray Road. As you all probably know, because that's why you're watching this video. Someone signed on my aim. Anyway, I'm pretty freaking retarded because when I went looking for it, I had a map, you know, a map quest printed out and everything all set up. Stop signing on. Basically, here's what happened. I I left at maybe 9:45 at night ish, somewhere around there, and I was thinking, yeah, I'll get there maybe around 11 ish, you know, because it's only like 50 minutes away, and I would I'd drive slow because I'm not I have no idea where the hell I'm going. But <laughs> what ended up happening is I wasted about an hour and a half maybe just searching because I could not find um what street was it? Basically, I took C R County Road I think E S West, and it, National became that street, and I kept driving up it, and eventually it became a street like called Main Street when I got to McGuanago, and it annoyed me because I was like, it's telling me to turn right, but there is no right, and then there's some slight right or something. Basically, as it turns out, I drove right and just kept looking, and I ended up driving all the way up that street to find out that it wasn't even CR ES West anymore. So I was, I, I was like, okay. I spent about an hour just looking. I decided, okay, forget this. I'm going to go left and see what happens because it's still that street. And I drove up Main Street for a while. Eventually, Main Street became country again. And I drove through the country thinking I'm going to end up getting myself lost because I really have no idea where the heck I'm going. I passed a bunch of stuff, drove for about another 10, 15 minutes. And finally, finally, I came across Town Line Road, which is another street I was looking for. And I was like, oh, well, why would they tell me to go right if I'm supposed to go left? It was stupid. So anyway, I finally find that street. Now it's like 11:30. I'm like, oh great, finally. And I'm running low on gas, but I didn't realize it until later. So I drive up that street, and then I find Bowers Road somehow. Don't really even know how I managed to get there, but that's another street I was looking for. And I start to get nervous. You can hear it in my voice in the videotape because I know I'm getting close to what I'm looking for. I, I didn't include much on this video because it's not really worth it. I didn't see anything. Nothing interesting happened. I'm just giving you a glimpse into how basically kind of where I went and how stupid I actually am because I here, here's here's where my retardedness really comes into play it was when I made it to Wisconsin WI-11 that little highway thingy eventually and I'm like oh finally and I wasn't smart enough to just you know look at the map to realize that Bray Road is actually like these these stupid maps aren't helpful. I wish I would have had a state map because I probably would have found it anyway. But as it turns out, Bray Road is actually this tiny little itsy bitsy road right there between Highway 11 and Bowers. So basically, it's like just a slight drive up Highway 11, then you turn left down like a slanted street. Which, if I would have known that at the time, if I would have done more research, I would have realized and been able to see it. I actually drove by it without even realizing. So that was kind of annoying. Then I actually was right there, but kept going without thinking, you know? So anyway, I drive up that street, and finally I, I look at my tank. I'm like, oh, I'm under a fourth of tank. How the heck am I getting at home? There aren't gas stations for miles. So I'm like, I, I kind of gave up at that point because I knew... I had to take the interstate home, and that was the only thing close, so I was like, all right, I'll just take the interstate home. I mean, you're probably wondering why I didn't take the interstate to begin with. Well, m there's something screwy with my brakes at the time, and they didn't, they don't really work all the time, <laughs> if that's not safe enough. Basically, you apply pressure to them at a random time, all of a sudden they'll just lock up and you can't press the brakes anymore and since I don't have an emergency brake the only way to slow down is to downshift into a lower gear and my car's not manual, my truck's not manual by the way, it's automatic but you know when you shift it into two or one or whatever it is you know but it's only happened three times but I didn't want to take the chance and at the time I thought the highway is what did it but I guess it really doesn't even matter because it happened once more anyway and that was just on regular streets. I haven't hit anybody yet, thank God. But I just took my truck in today to get repaired. Hopefully they can tell me what's wrong and I can have it back by Thursday so I can take it back out there. But I, I really, I think that the the side roads are a little more, you know, spooky and they're just more fun than just taking the highway there. Because actually I realize it's really easy. 
plus I kind of know the way now. So hopefully by next Thursday I'll be able to get out there and maybe actually, you know, catch a glimpse of something. But as for now, you can watch this, which is me being dumb and you probably might even be able to see the road on tape. Point it out to me because I really don't know. I might have been right in front of it at a time because I did stop at a few streets looking up them, but I didn't see anything, so I just kept moving because I couldn't find the street name, you know? Alright. Alright, we're good to go. Hopefully that doesn't fall off. Bowers. Okay. Here we are. Bowers. Then we find. Holy shit. Dude, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at the moon. That shit's fucking orange. Alright. Nothing but fucking corn. Street, which we're never gonna know if you don't see some damn sign. 